Hi, this is Justin from Zach65 and today we are here at the RIM's office um, with together with uh, Oliver here from RIM and we have here the playbook and we, he's going to just show us a little bit about the new BlackBerry Playbook 2.0, Operating System 2.0 that just released not long ago. So Oliver, show us what's new and what's fantastic about this new be, operating system. Be my pleasure. So um, yeah, welcome to the BlackBerry, BlackBerry 2.0 OS. Um, it's a, a new free update that we launched globally uh, on Tuesday the 21st of February. So, so the first thing that you'll notice on the, on, the, on the browser here or on the main home screen is, when you look through here is that we've now got this new um, easy access um, navigation bar that stays with you along when you when you browse through different um, applications and different features of the Playbook 2.0. Um, you can customize that in any way you want. You just simply have to hold down and you're able to then bring applications in or applications back up to your, to your favorites. Another feature that's also very um, popular in the new um, operating system um, or user interface with Playbook 2.0 is the ability to create folders. And by that, you can club together different applications that you feel are a right fit. So if you've got you know, hundreds of applications on your playbook, it makes sense to club them together. So let's dive into probably what's the, the biggest um, new feature for, um, for the playbook. And that is the fact that we've now got integrated email within, um, within the playbook. Finally. <laughs> and what that means is um, that you can, you can access um, your, all of your key email accounts natively through the, the application that we've built in. Another cool thing is if you, not only in reading HTML, but you can also create um, rich um, emails here. And you'll see up here that if you type, you can change the style and the format, the color, the, the, the text format that you want to type in um, and create those type of messages. Another cool thing is the fact that you've got um, tabbed, email crea uh, tabbed email creation. So you can create multiple emails here and like, you can just type in a couple of messages. And if you wanted to say refer back to your inbox, you can then just click back into your main inbox. Similar to the fact that you've unified your inbox, you can also unify your contact lists. What you're able to do is, um, this is now pulling from my own um, from my own contact lists that are one from my address book, from my uh, Twitter account, and also from my LinkedIn, and it enables you to search for people um, through your different networks. Some of the other cool features of this are that um, not only can I see her full details, but I can also do things like find out where was the last place that I actually caught up with Sulin, and it's pulling information from my calendar now into the um, into the where you last saw someone. Someone, so I knew that I met her at these different venues at these different times, and then can relay that when I next catch up with her. Equally, I can see when I've had meetings with her and where we've had um, you know, meetings in common in the past and where, where we've got upcoming meetings as well. And then any contacts that we might have in, in, in common. So it's pooling her LinkedIn connections with mine and then also using the calendar invites that where you've had people um, you know, join, join meetings together. It will tell you all of those other people that, um, that, I, that, that I caught up with her on. So something pretty cool there. Now you'll probably see here a number of different numerical numbers for the different dates and they come up in different sizes and different um, whether they're bold or they're smaller. Um, really interesting feature it's called growing numbers and what growing numbers enables you to do is identify when you have really busy days and where you don't have such busy days so that you can schedule your diary very simply. Also has some nice features in finding out what your agenda is and also again using that information about pooling people people's stats and information in here you can look about when you you last um, met up with them or you last saw them. I can use the remote control to use have my smartphone as a, a navigation tool to browse through these different pages and then also have the benefit of using a keyboard to change it to, to different um, websites. So you can use the keyboard on your BlackBerry smartphone to say go to another website. So say I wanted to go to, to CNN. You'll notice that once this page renders in full I have the option to read it. And what this does is a nice feature that enables you to render text onto, a, onto the tablet in a really you know, quite digestible format. And this comes really true to its own when you want to flip the, the, the playbook to the side. Um, but I have just wanted to show you one of the, one of the applications that we, that we popped up before, which is an Android application. And you can see here that um, really the graphical interface on this application is quite powerful. And you can go through menu bars and what have you to see. Um, you know, the, 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 the different menus that you'd want to Another important pro uh, part of Playbook 2.0 is the suite of productivity apps. 
and uh, Docs to Go has got even more rich. And I wanted to show you a couple of features here um, by showing you some um, some files that you can access. So looking along here, I can access um, files and applications that are on my playbook. Because I've uh, paired to my um, BlackBerry smartphone through BlackBerry Bridge, I can also access files through that. And also, um, thanks to BlackBerry Mobile Fusion, I'm able to access emails that are within my work environment. So. Another innovative feature that we've introduced with Playbook 2.0 is something called print to go and what that enables you to do is to download a driver onto your um, PC that enables you to print to your Playbook anything that you might have previously sent to your printer. Very something that we think is very environmentally friendly and very green that saves you know having to print out loads of sheets of paper. So to wrap up, there are several new features that we're, we're really pleased to be bringing to Playbook 2.0. The, the complete fact that we've now got fully integrated email with a powerful unified um, inbox is, is something that's a great feature for, for people to take advantage of. Um, you've also got the fact that your calendar and your contacts now have um, interesting new features that connect your social life and also your personal, your personal life here. Updated BlackBerry, Blackberry Bridge functionality enables you to navigate um, through your BlackBerry Playbook on that larger screen using the capabilities of your BlackBerry smartphones. And then the productivity apps. Um, we've improved docs to go we've added print to go finally ability to use android applications on your on your um, on your playbook all right thank you very much oliver and thanks for watching thank you